BBC News with David Harper. More than 100,000 Israelis have been holding protests against judicial reforms for the 13th consecutive week. They gathered despite a pause in the lawmaking process announced earlier this week. In the city of Tel Aviv, there were scuffles between protesters and counter-demonstrators. The authorities in several US states have been assessing the damage caused by severe storms and tornadoes across the South and the Midwest. At least 21 people in six states have been confirmed dead following Friday's powerful storms. President Zelensky has described as absurd Russia's assumption of the rotating presidency of the United Nations Security Council. He said the appointment showed the institution was bankrupt. The abbot of Ukraine's most important monastery, the Kiev Pechersk Lavra, has been placed under house arrest for two months on suspicion of backing Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Metropolitan Pavel Lebud is also suspected of having incited religious hatred. A delegation from South Africa's governing ANC is in Moscow for talks with representatives of Russia's largest political party, United Russia. The ANC said the talks would consider what it called the recalibration of the global order. Dutch officials have warned of the risks of housing asylum seekers on disused cruise ships after analysing a typhoid outbreak on one last year. They trace the outbreak to contaminated drinking water. The Foreign Office in London says it is trying to find out what has happened to three British men who have been detained by the Taliban secret police in Afghanistan. A British-based group that's been supporting the detainees' families so they have no legal representation. Boxing and the former world heavyweight champion Britain's Anthony Joshua has defeated his American opponent Jermaine Franklin in London. Joshua's victory was by unanimous decision after 12 rounds. The win followed two consecutive defeats by Ukraine's Alexander Usyk. It was Joshua's first non-world title fight since 2015. BBC News.